So let's follow the pattern in case you want to make this again and want to make sure you understand uh, what the instructions say, okay? So we got the bottom of the band, the jacket. This is the right side of the jacket. And here's the, here's my lining. And here's the right side. This is the wrong side of my lining. Right sides together, the lining and the jacket. Okay, I'm gonna raise this up some so you can see. Okay, here's the lining and here's the jacket, right sides together, all right? I put the, put the lining together fully and it's gonna be right sides together. And the step says, stitch, gather, and pull up gathered stitches on jacket lining sections, the same as what you did with the jacket, okay? Don't do the pockets, just do the back, okay? Pin the jacket lining to the edge of the lower band. All right, the lower band is still open. It's still open. So you're gonna pin the lower edges of the lining to the band. Okay, here's the, here's where the fabric band piece is. Leave the zipper alone right now and match up your notches and pin all the way across. Make sure your seams line up. Here's your side seam and right at the side seam of the jacket. If you notice, I went ahead and did a, a side seam opening on the lining, okay? Just kind of slit up and give yourself an opening because that's how we're gonna pull it through and do, uh, do the sleeves. We're gonna pull it through this area, plus we're gonna do the sleeves that way. All right, on the other side, just line up the bottom, match your notches and your seams, and then I'm gonna stitch across here. Okay, I've stitched my bottom across, just the lining to the bottom band. Okay, the bottom band is still open, but I just stitched across the bottom as step number 16. Just stitch the lining right sides together across the bottom. Open the little slit here, the side seam, so you can have some working room. And now our next step, and I'm going by the pattern, so in case you, just so you understand the steps. Then we're gonna uh, stitch the lining all the way around on the side seams where the zipper is and across the neck. Everything is gonna be sandwiched. So if you follow the zipper, up, follow the zipper up, line up the neckline of the lining. The collar is inside. The neck collar is already stitched on and it's inside. Everything is sandwiched. Okay, you don't see anything but outer layer and your lining. And it will fit all the way around. And this is step number 17. Now again, I wanna show you the other side. This is where the collar is. The zipper is laying the same way that it was laying when you stitched it. You haven't turned it over yet. And put the edge of the lining, sandwich the collar, line it up right with the collar of the jacket. And you've got the zipper on the inside. There's no such thing as too many pins. No such thing. You can line up your seams. Where's mine? There it is. Oh, no, that one. <laughs> okay, this your jacket should look just like the picture. You'll see it in my video. <laughs> but it's pinned across the, the top 
it's pinned down. These are, this is the lining right sides together. A lining is just a mirror image of your garment on the inside. Okay, now we're on step 18, but I've got a little trick for you I wanna share. Okay, here's the zipper and it's pinned from the neck all the way down. And this is at the edge. Remember how the band, the front band, folds up over the zipper, leave the zipper face down, just like you, just like you stitched it, and fold up that band, because the band is gonna be in half anyway, but I want you to do something different than what the instructions say. You see how it is? And here's the seam. And here's the halfway point of piece number eight. Fold it up over the zipper. And you should have a clean seam going up the zipper on the whole piece. And it should look like that. Okay, I'll show you again. I'll move this. This is the front seam coming down the zipper. Here's piece number eight because you've already stitched across the lining to the bottom band. Here's piece number eight. I want you to fold it up on the zipper so it's flush right with the zipper. So when the zipper opens out, it'll be flush and have a flush bottom. Pin that. The only difference with step number 18, we're just gonna stitch this first. So pin this all the way up. And then again, you're gonna stitch around the jacket, all sides. Now on the zipper, make a note of this. Do not stitch very close to the zipper teeth. You can't see the zipper teeth, but do not stitch close to them because you will, your uh, zipper could get caught. So stitch about a half inch. Uh, I'm sorry, stitch right in the middle. Like before you stitch really close to the teeth, stitch um, about a quarter inch out. So maybe about right in the middle of the zipper teeth. You won't be able to see it, the zipper tape rather. You won't be able to see it, but just use your zipper foot and know that you don't need, like if my teeth were right here, I'm gonna come about right here, okay? Because you don't want your zipper to get caught on your lining. You guys know how that feels. So um, just come out a little when you're stitching along the zipper. And then don't forget our little tip, come down and stitch all the way down on the zipper until you come off. Everything stitched, you got the next stitch, the side, and now you can cut your zipper, okay? Because you've got it encased in stitching. So what you wanna do, use a utility scissor, whatever scissor you use for whatever, you know, you, I'm sure you have an old scissor and cut in between the teeth. I've got a polyester zipper, so no big deal. Just cut it off. All right, so now you can check. This is a point you can check. Put your hand in that opening. So you remember when you stitched all the way down the, um, the band on the front? Let's open it up and look at it because we're not done, but I just want to show you how it's going to look. See, there's your bottom. I've got threads everywhere and I got a crinkle there too. I got to fix that. Okay, so put it back. Put it back like it was. Just want you to look at it and you can always check your work. Even if you baste it, if you're not certain, you can always do it and check it. All right, so now, step number 18, what we're gonna do, here's the, the bottom band. It's still open, it's not folded. So put the pieces together, the bottom bands together, fold in the zipper, putting it out of the way. 
just put it out of the way, fold it in side and put it out of the way and put your seams together. There's the notches are still there. They still match up, match up those notches because you're going to according to step number 18. I'm going to snip this so I can make it easier. According to step number 18, you're going to put these bottom seams together. So just put the zipper out of the way. Just make sure it's tucked away because you don't want to stitch it. And put those two notches together. These are the bottom seams, the seams to the bottom band, the lining seam and the um, outer seam. The notches are still here. Match your notches. See, they're mine all right there. I know this is a lot. You didn't know it was so much. All right, here's the other side. Tuck that zipper in and away. And there's two notches on that front band. Put them together. And all you're going to do, you're going to stitch as close as you can get. but you already took care of the zipper front and it's out of the way. And you're gonna stitch as close as you can get to that side. And if you have a little opening when you open it up, you're gonna hand stitch it closed. See, my seams are together. I'll stitch this across. And then we're gonna stitch it, stitch it closed. Right. You are all stitched up down at the bottom. The two seams of the bottom band are stitched together. The band is underneath, okay? And now you're ready to turn it. Step number 19 says, turn jacket and lining right side out through the little side seam opening, okay? Um, you gotta turn your seams open like your zipper, seam open and if you have to do any top stitching this is the point to do that okay, just reach in it's gonna be ugly but just pull the jacket through this is all linings this is what it looks like anytime you do a lining pants jacket suit jacket it's real ugly but Look at that zipper. <laughs> Yours should look the same. <laughs> okay, now the collar zipper should pull out like that. And see how it's inside. I got a bunch of loose threads here. See how it's inside in between the lining and the front. Okay. Same on this side. The zipper should come out and be, it should go into the collar, the edge of the collar. And come on, on this side, same thing. Uh oh, my gathers are in there. We are going to do the sleeves. All right, we're coming in the home stretch. Piece number, um, step number 20. Pull the sleeve through the opening, wrong sides out, separating the jacket sleeve from the lining sleeve. Pin the lining sleeve edge to jacket sleeve with right sides together, having sleeve band in between. Man, tell me. All right, I'm going to show you what bagging a lining is. Bagging a lining is done with all garments, all sleeve garments. And this is what it looks like. I took both sleeves out. I reached in through the side seam opening of the lining and I pulled both sleeves out. This is the wrong side of my lining sleeve, the wrong side of my jacket sleeve. Now I wanted to make sure my seams were lined up. So I just kind of made sure my um, under seam, the shortest seam, that's the underarm seam, they were just on the same side, and they are. This is what it looks like. 
I took it out and I bagged it. I dropped the lining sleeve down into the outer sleeve. The band is still in there. Don't worry about that, ignore it. You're gonna sandwich it just like you did um, in the other parts, okay? So basically I took the, the lining sleeve out and I dropped it down inside the seam of the outer sleeve right side and I put right sides together basically I just pinched it the right sides were together I did it by hand and I'm going to show you how to do it on the other side okay because this is what it looks like then you go in and you pull the sleeve out and see you don't have a seam yay okay watch let's do it again all right, reach into the opening of the lining, pull both sleeves out. You'll, you'll be on the wrong sides of both sleeves, okay? All right, here's the outer sleeve. Turn the band down inside, ignore it. Just have the seam, the seam up, okay? And here's the edge of the lining sleeve. One thing I wanna make sure, I just look at the shortest side, which is the underarm seam, and just make sure I can line those up together. Okay, I just wanna make sure they're together so that it'll be, it'll go on correctly. Hold up the outer sleeve, hold it up in your hand. It's a bag and you're gonna put the lining sleeve down in it. Okay, hold up the lining sleeve. And now what you wanna do is match up right sides together. Your right sides are on the inside. So you're gonna just take the right side, match it up to this right side. And you're pinching just very little at a time. Pin it, right sides together. You can see I'm just turning it under. So I'm looking at the right side and I'm looking at this right side and I'm putting it together. It's ugly, but if you can see it, you can do it. Look at the right side of the outer sleeve. Here's the right side of the inner sleeve, the lining sleeve, and put it together. And you still got notches there. Don't forget, those notches will still work for you even at this point. Right side of the inner sleeve, of the outer sleeve, right side of the lining sleeve. Pitch it together. And then when I go to the machine, I'll show you how to sew it. Right sides together, just keep going. At this point, you'll be able to see what you're doing. Ignore this, it's still there. You just dropped it down in like a bag. That's why you call it bag in the lining. Jackets are done like that, tuxedos, formal jackets, men's jackets are done like this. Or the tailor hand does it, does it by hand. Those goats, they can sit there and listen to a movie and hand stitch a whole suit. See, I've got it pinned. See how you bag the lining down into the right sides of the sleeve. Okay, now let's go over to the lining. Machine. So I'm just going to kind of get this out of the way and I'm going to hold on to the seams and stitch around. I've got it pinned. I've got the right sides pinned together and I'm going to stitch around. Still on my five eighths. Where's my presser foot? <laughs> there it is. I mean, my, my foot pedal got away from me. And just carefully, slowly stitch around on your seam. Just move it slowly, a little bit at a time. Don't get any crinkles. Make sure, keep your hands up here. Don't try to go down here or hold it any kind of awkward way. Just 
you're only stitching maybe two inches at a time. And you're going all the way around this, the, uh, the sleeve edge. Little at a time. And it's twisting on you because it's supposed to, you're taking it in a circle. Just keep going until you get to the other side. Doesn't take long. There you go. You're done. Okay. You bag the lining. Now you can trim these seams down just to get rid of the bulk. Now go to the outside of your jacket and reach in and pull the sleeve in, out rather. There you go. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Now your finishing touches. Just take a, uh, just put this together and do an edge stitch right along the edge to seal it shut. And then come on the front and do a top stitch if you want, if your fabric, if it makes sense for your fabric, do a top stitch down to the end of the band and then sport your jacket. I hope that was fun, good luck. I'm so happy you took the bomber jacket class. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long for my first YouTube bomber jacket to, to do the lining, but here you are. Thank you. Have fun.